All right, guys, walk us, walk us through. Um, just, uh, it's been a tough, tough season, but it's a great way to end it, especially at home, getting a win for our seniors. Uh, our seniors have been um, a great senior class, great people all through the year. They've been a special group, and uh, to have the, the you know, to have nothing really to play for tonight except pride in each other. Um, you saw. We saw a great game. We saw a great effort. We saw how, how well the team you could really play for each other. And then, obviously, it's unfortunate with um, you know, losing Lex with seven minutes to go. So that's a long time. But to still, you know, to still be able to, you know, when your leading scorer goes out, that leaves a big void. And we really, uh, you know, to finish it out with a win, I think that says a lot about our team. And it really says a lot about, like, we can't say it enough, how great <coughs> the seniors were, the leadership they had in the locker room all through the season to continue to fight and compete in every game. You know, even with all the disappointments and the, and the tough times we've had this year, uh, I, think, I think most teams would have, uh, I think most teams would have given up a long time ago. So I'm just really happy and you know, proud, of the, proud of that senior group and happy for them that they, they end their career uh, with a win here. Um, we'll, we'll go with where you ended there. Um, with Lex going out, um, it seemed like to me in all the games that I've seen here, this was Samaya's best game. Best game. I mean, like I said, in my opinion, I mean, she really took over. She dropped into the hoop. She missed a couple bodies, but she didn't give up. And she really took over. I think she scored. Um, she, yeah, she finished like with eight 13. Point, like eight points in that last after you know Lex went out, and that was you know, that was huge. I mean, she just didn't quit. Yeah. Talk about you know her play. You know how she stepped it up. And, well, and we knew uh, she did it. She had a pretty good first half, but she missed a lot of layups the first half. We knew that that was tough. Um, but then she finished strong at the rim, uh, especially down the stretch. She, obviously, we don't win the game without uh, you know the way that, that she and Aisha played in those last seven minutes. Um, obviously, with everybody, but you really need those uh, those finishing plays. Uh, and Smy hit her free throws tonight too. So especially down the stretch, so it was, it's it was great to see. You know, she hasn't played a whole lot of minutes. She's been in a lot of injury troubles the last two years, and it's great to see someone step up that way um, to, to, to get the win tonight. So that, that is promising. It was, a, it was a great moment for her. Yeah, you can't forget Hope stepping back and knocking down that three-pointer there. <coughs> no, big shot. Big yeah, shot. Was. And it's like Hope's, Hope's been, yeah, the only thing I would say about Hope is I wish she would have shot a couple more of them. She's too unselfish at times. We, we had other we had some opportunities where where I thought she could have gotten a couple more you know three point shots up and, and passed them up to pass the teammates so uh, I almost would have rather had her take a couple more of those shots this being her, her senior year but um, but that's who she is she's an unselfish person and, and so she moved the ball probably uh, uh, more than coach would have wanted her to at times so but a big three and then she had that you know, play of the game with that block at the other end um, that. To, to, to kind of finish the game, so to make that defensive play in the last minute is huge. Also, speaking of your defense, um, <coughs> thirty-eight turnovers, um, twenty-three steals. Uh, is that a season high? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, would, I would think so. I mean, third twenty-three steals. I would think. He, I, I said that to him. I said thirty-eight turnovers. Is that a, um, a season high for you guys? He says, I think it's an all-time basketball high. <laughs> he says that's ridiculous. He said. I mean, he half laughed, you know, but uh, I mean that's. That's an incredible amount. Do you guys, anything different about the way? I mean, you said at some point you had three people on the ball. Was it just something? You know, yeah, well, when we had three on the ball, that was a mistake. But <laughs> <laughs> we're never supposed to have three on the ball. Well, I didn't think so. Um, <laughs> but no, we, uh, you know, we came in the game. We wanted to go back to kind of the way that I really wanted to play most of this season and playing, you know, super, super high intensity, uh, super high, high pace tempo of the game really attacking people at both ends of the floor and we, it, it, we felt like we could we felt like we might as well we could do it tonight I, we were limited down the stretch the last month or so a, a lot of most of the year we've been limited with the personnel we have like just having so many injuries and not having enough uh, really bodies to play it um, and even tonight we saw like uh, there were times that we, we just we got fatigued and there were that we had opportunities to, to, to really blow the game open sometimes we got up Six, seven, eight, and then you get fatigue. Couple mistakes here and there. So, it's really. But we just felt like it'd be an opportunity for the players.
players to have fun, for everybody to play and get you know, a significant playing time to get opportunities. Um, and then defensively, we just attack them the whole game. So it is probably a high in what we forced. Uh, unfortunately for Witten, it's not an all-time high because we, uh, we had 43 last, last year against Florida. Um, you know, a little bit different situation on our end, but um, as far as us defensively forcing that much, that's really just a, you know it's a credit to uh, the effort that we put in the entire game long. Lex, what I mean that first half, it just seemed like you were holding nothing back. Like this is it. I know this is it. There's nothing else left after this. I'm just just playing ball, just having fun. I mean that's just the way it seemed, and it seemed like you were more comfortable than I've seen you most of the year. And that's what maybe contributed to you know everything seemingly going in there in the first half. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, the coaches gave us all a green light to shoot today, and you know it's they've been like that for me the most of the year. Um, but I feel like everyone was playing more relaxed, and that made me more relaxed. And you know they were encouraging me to shoot, and um, I was doing the same back. So I think it's we have a very unselfish team, and you know I think it's awesome that. They know that, like they believe in me. So I think honestly, their their belief in me was what allowed me to go off like that. And um, you know, I, I was so proud of Samaya and you know everyone who really held it together in the last seven minutes. Because um, not many young players would do that, um, especially with a senior fouling out and you know. But they really held it together and. I'm very proud of my teammates. Um, obviously, more can be said in the days to come, but you've left a mark on this, you know, on this program. You know, in your four years here, I've only had the privilege of the last two years seeing you. But um, you know, your records, three pointers. I mean, um, finishing fourth, you know, all-time leading scorer. Is that coming into your career? Was that ever something you ever could have even envisioned for yourself? It was just, or was it just a matter of coming in and saying? Whatever role needs to be played, that's what they were playing. This is just how it all played out. I mean, I think coming in, I just wanted to play. <laughs> Honestly, there's no guarantee that you're right. going to come in and do anything on the floor, really. And I just, I came in wanting to make an impact right off the bat. And um, Joe was actually my position coach at that time, and he worked with me. We shot on the gun together. <laughs> he has a better right. shot than I do. <laughs> um, but we worked together all freshman year. and. Um, you know, he really developed me and my confidence shooting the ball. Um, and then last year, um, Coach Barrett came in and really worked on me not just being a shooter but a scorer and, you know, made me a more dynamic player. And, um, you know, I think I credit him with everything that I've done putting the ball on the floor wise because, you know, my freshman year I wasn't even allowed to dribble. <laughs> Once you catch it, you jack that uh, shot up there. So, um, you know, it's it's crazy, the records and all of that, but honestly, I just wanted to play basketball. When Lex was recruited, she did not have many opportunities to even play Division One basketball. It's she had a great high school career, great high school career, wins Whitfield Championships, all this stuff, and St. Francis was the only Division One offer she had. So she had to come from that where only one coach believed in her really, and that was, that was Coach Susan uh, when she was here to offer her that scholarship. Um, and then Lex did come in, you know, wanting to play. And so she put in so much work between her high school year and, and even her freshman year to try and be the best that she could be to compete for playing time. And then she earned that. And that but her freshman year, she was a, just a stand in the corner, <laughs> knock down the three if we pass it to you. Jump up and down. And, uh, <laughs> And then it became, you know, and she grew her sophomore year, and then, uh, and then just with, unfortunately, with some of uh, our you know, personnel and, and kids transferring out, and just through necessity, Lex had to start playing the point more, um, and then developing in these last two years from, you know, coming from from that and growing every year is is the most amazing part for her. Like you would, I don't know that people would have anticipated all the records and all that, all, all of that. But she's worked so hard to to develop her game and become a scoring point guard and do it. And the other thing that's uh, the other thing that is nobody talks about because of all the numbers is.
the improvement that she's made at the defensive end of the floor because her freshman sophomore year she was absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> awful. Like, uh, <laughs> other teams would run plays at her, like just horrible. And uh, and she's she's improved, you know, the way that she's grown that to, it, over the last two years at the defensive end of the floor also. And then she averages about four assists a game too in addition to scoring all the points. So she she also passes the balls. People would, would, would realize at times. So she's done. She's had an amazing career, uh, you know, and, and it's it's a tribute to the work that she's put in to develop along the way. And, and we've been lucky to have her. I've been you know, I've been very fortunate in my you know my short head coaching career, just in my three years or my seven <coughs> years to be at St. Francis, to be around really great people, great players. But especially these last two years with you know with Allie Williams and, and Lex to have. Those type of people in the program, it's uh, it's it's been it's been awesome. You know, it makes makes my job easier. So she's just she's just a special person, a great leader, and uh, deserves all the records and all the good things that have happened to her. Speaking of a special thing, there putting uh, Zoe in um, at the end of the first half. I mean, she, she you could tell she was just out there having a like she thought it was the greatest thing in the world. You know. <laughs> And did, did, she, did she have any clue? You know. Well, we had to st we started the process this morning. Okay. Um, and it's something I thought about you know a couple months ago, uh, and, but it didn't really. It's something I thought about that might be a possibility down the line because she's she's also been great. She's been in our program for three years as a manager. She's she's one of the team. Like the, the she's just she's been there for us. Um, travels with us in the locker room. Does all the manager stuff that, that no just one you know <laughs> wants to do, and um, you know, always you know, smile on her face, positive person. Like, uh, and she played and she played at a great, great high school at, at St. John Vianney in New Jersey. Very competitive. So um, you know, I know she could play. She could play basketball. She plays pickup with the team sometimes. So it was. Uh, at, that did. I thought about it a while ago, and then just over the weekend, just thought it'd be, it'd be really cool if we could get her in and, and kind of reward her for the contributions she's made to the program. Um, and I, I, I'm great. I'm really happy I put her in in the first half and didn't wait till the second. Right. I, there were times in the second half I thought that we had um, we had the game where we wanted it, and we we had an opportunity to really kind of blow it out. To, 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 uh, expand the lead, we had opportunities to go up 10-15, and I really thought we were going to do that, but you know, credit to Mountain and their players for, for the way they fought, and they, they and hit, kept hitting shots down the end, so um, I probably kind of, if I had to do it over again, I could maybe I put, put Zoe in for the free throw block out or something, mm -hmm. but um, right now she's, she's, she's been great, she's been a great person, like here she is Monday night of, of spring break, and she's here with our team in the middle of the snow and she could be <laughs> off uh, you yeah, know on spring break with, with, with the rest of the student body so she's made she's made sacrifices to contribute to our program and, you know, so I was happy we were able to get her in the game and and then uh, um, you know and then we're in a one-point game in the first half and Lex is going out of her way to try and make sure that she gets a shot up <laughs> so um, so it was, it was it was a nice moment I wish we would have had a few more minutes to put her in in the second half too so